hello everyone in today video we are going to learn network address translation or NAT in Palo Alto firewall NAT is used when any internal user want to connect any external server or any external user want to access your internal server in that case we need NAT configuration this is the packet flow diagram in Palo Alto firewall here you can see we are we are using NAT policy at two place one is at uh, initial packet processing and next one is as uh, post policy processing so there are two types of NAT one is source NAT and next one is uh, destination NAT when we are translating only source IP address into the public IP address that is called that is called source netting and when we are translating destination IP address to our internal IP address that is called destination NAT for example we have uh, we have three zone trust untrust DMZ and all are connected with uh, Palo Alto firewall when we want to connect from trust to untrust then we have to do the source netting so in that case we, we we are going to use a public ip address on this untrust interface uh, however in trust uh, trust zone we will use only private ip addresses so our source private ip address we will translate into the this public ip address so that is called source netting and destination netting whenever any untrust user want to connect with your dmz server or any DNS server, internal DNS server. In that case, we have to translate our destination IP address to our internal server IP address. That is called destination netting. So this is the uh, topology diagram to understand what is source netting. So here we have connected a PC1 and PC1 IP address is 192.168.10.1 and he want to connect with the external server that is 204.100.10.1 so this is the packet flow before source netting here you can see the source ip addresses ip address of this pc1 that is 192.168.10.1 and destination ip address is our external server ip address that is 204.100.10.1 and the source zone will be trust and destination will be untrust this is before source netting so now we we have to apply when this packet will come to this palo alto firewall it will apply the source netting and it will change the source ip address to this egress interface public ip address so after netting the packet will be look like this uh, the source IP address 195.100.50.10 and destination will be 204.100.10.1 and the source zone will be untrust and destination will be also untrust so this is after source netting so there are three types of source netting static dynamic and dynamic IP and port in static we we will do one to one translation so for each host each internal host you have to define a public ip address so so uh, in practical scenario we we never use a static ip source netting dynamic ip here we will use multiple public ip address to translate or, in, or to translate source ip address in dynamic IP and port here we need only single public IP address and we will uh, we will use different types of ports for each and every users internal users and next destination net so this is the topology diagram to understand destination net so here we have any external server he want to connect with our internal server so uh, you can see this is the packet flow diagram before dnat so source ip address will be our uh, external server ip address that is 
and destination will be our egress interface IP address which is 195.100.50.10 once this packet will come to the Palo Alto firewall it will apply the DNAT configuration then it will convert this destination IP address to our internal server IP address so so the packet flow will be source IP address 204.100.10.1 and destination will be 192.168.100.1 and the source zone will be untrust and destination will be DMZ so this is the destination netting destination NAT types there are two types only static and optional port forwarding static we are doing one to one and this is also by bi directional option so this option will be available while doing the configuration and optional port forwarding here it maps single destination IP to multiple IPs based on the original destination IP so that's that's all for this uh, network address translation the configuration of network address or net translation we will do in next video we will create some scenario uh, so there we are going to apply some security policy rule and after that we will also apply to some net configuration source netting and dnet so in same video we will discuss both source policy we, we will discuss net configuration as well as security rule conf configuration that's all for this video thank you so much for watching